Hi everybody, Marty High here. We're starting a new series. It's going to be over this amazing game called Evoland. And it's just, it's epic. Alright, so here's a little backstory on it real quick. Uh, basically, you start off with crap, like I can't turn back, I can't go left, or anything. The whole point is to find these chests and to f unlock new, like, stages that you evolve into. Like two directional 2d movement and now I have basic scrolling so it's this amazing little like throwback game and I know that the only thing I have on my channel right now is Minecraft we got Marty's place and we got Frostfire so I thought you know what let's mix it up let's give them a new let's give them something different get some get some young blood in here maybe somebody doesn't like Minecraft that's crazy but some people don't so maybe they'll find this on my channel and be like oh all right, yeah, getting monsters. Make sure, make sure you guys like watch these uh, these bottom things. Like you got monsters, be careful not to touch them. Make sure you guys watch those because they are so funny sometimes at what you unlock. Now, uh, I've I've played through this game. I haven't beaten it completely, but I've got I played enough of it that I know the basic um, what to do and whatnot. So. Um, what? Got a double twin card? That's like all the old, um, like Final Fantasies and whatnot. They all have those stupid card games that have no point to the story except, like, you'll get the f ultimate weapon for one of your characters and then you have to go and play the stupid ge card game all the way through. I don't know what the point in this game is with it yet. I think it's just, you know, the, the nostalgia feeling. Which is basically what this whole game is. It's just, oh, we got music now, guys. So, it's this really awesome throwback to like some of the great games from the past. And I love the fact that you start off at this era, and then, boom. You start moving up through the eras of gaming. So like, it's kind of like almost a little history lesson. Uh, but I absolutely love this game like it's one of my favorite games. I've ever played Just for the fact that it's so like Makes it makes me remember so much about my like my childhood uh, I keep thinking these things are the uh What are they called the or a talk or talk something or talks? The thing from uh, Zelda where they shoot out the ball so I'm always worried bats are my natural enemy in this game like I oh I hate bats. I hate bats. Um, what's a good direction? Oh, got another save point. Okay. Oh, yes! Alright, guys, here's the basic story. Evoland, a short story of adventure video games evolution. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. Uh, you are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, uh, who whose purpose is to travel the world and help the needy and fight evil. These centuries of peace certainly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. There you go. Basic storyline. You want me to break it down for you real quick in case you missed that? Alright. We're good guys. We're apparently descendants of dragons. Uh, bad guys are doing bad things. Our job, go kill them. Make the world good again. Boom. Whole game in a nutshell. <laughs> love this game guys it's so much fun to play uh, the really cool part is it literally takes one hand so like everything is played with the WASD and E keys so oh yeah another chest boom got another star I don't know what the stars do yet yes but I know I want to collect them all they're like Pokemon I have to collect them all it's not a want at this point. It's it's a straight up need. Yeah, and I just double saved. Because that's what I do. That is what I do. Uh, the videos for this one are probably going to be a little bit shorter. So, uh, just because that way I can, you know, string it out longer and have a... Because the game itself seems kind of... Uh... uh not as long-winded as like Minecraft and whatnot. So, 
Well, because Minecraft technically never ends. It's like a fashion. It never ends. Okay. Hold on. Let's get this guy. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Quit being a... Alright, walk back down here. Really? What do we get? Oh, yes, better colors. Look at that, guys. Moving up in the world. Ooh. Okay, I want to go save. I want to go save. I want to go save. Woo! I haven't got lives yet, guys. So, uh, uh, if we die, we die. And that's it. We're done. And, oh, God, bats. Bats are my natural enemy. Oh, God, I hate them. I hate them so much. Because they don't have a, like, set path. Oh, yeah, we got signs now. We can know what to do. This pass is reserved for agile adventurers. I'm agile. I am very agile. Ooh, free movement. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that diagonal. Diagonal. Can you move like that? I don't think so. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um. What's that? Inventory. Tab. Alright, well, let's hit tab. We have a sword. Apparently, we're gonna get a bomb and a bow. And we do have money. We've got 20, two of the 23 cards, three of the 30 stars. So. Uh, you know what? Here, guys. We'll fight these guys and then we'll call. We'll, we'll end it there after this. Here we go. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Oh, I hope we don't die. Yeah, I'll stab you in the back. Uh, uh, walk away, walk away, walk away. You don't want none of this. I have free movement now. Let's get this guy. Come on, guys, come on. Yeah, mm hmm. Free movement. Look at this. Alright, guys, we have unlocked the path. And we will continue from here next time. So remember, like always, don't text and drive. It's dangerous. And I will catch you later.